Hi and welcome everyone to face detection application. Okay, so this face detection is a live face detection based off the camera capture.cs application we made earlier in a post. I think level one and level two we modified this. So we are going to further modify it and add face detection features to it. Now, if you've been following my tutorials, then you know that when we wanted to, when we started out with the project, EMGOCV project, we first had to create the project, and then the first foremost step was to add the references. You see these are references added over here, and we added them in, I think, uh, step three or something in a tutorial. Anyhow, you can just check it out where it is. You'll find it in level one. And as for face detection, we'll start off by going into the load function of this application. Okay, camera capture load. Now, here's the code you're already familiar with. We've done this in level one and two, so you should have a clear idea of what what is what the code is doing over here. Uh, I think you've read my topic on getting ready for face detection. That uh, topic covers basically all the good things, the basics you need to know for face detection. Now once you've read that, it's time to start implementing it. So as I already mentioned over there in the articles, it's written that hard cascade, Viola Jones method uses hard cascades for face detection. So right now we're going to use those hard cascades Thanks to the references we added earlier, over here, the hard cascade will appear to be as a user-defined um, user defined the data type. So let's just declare one over here, private hard cascade, there it is. Select this, double click, and let's call it hard. Now I'm going to add a note to it so that we remember what it is. The Viola Jones classifier, or let's say detector. Okay, now that we have uh, declared an object of our cascade, we're going to use this for face detection. Now, the first thing is that when the program loads, we want to load the cascade, uh, the cascade, the detector into this object. Now, where does that cascade, uh, that file comes from? Where is that detector? Well, it's stored in XML files. People have trained XML files on different faces. Um, I mean, different they've used the different databases for detecting various faces, and I uh, we'll see that where the XML file is.